There is a saying in English practice makes a man perfect. In reality, this saying is similar to the fact that one cannot be efficient without practice. In today's video I will show you how to create a Shopify store for free practice. Hope you will watch the complete video with patience. First visit shopify.com slash partner. Now click on join from the top right. You can choose any option to create Shopify account. I select sign up with Google. I will select the mail from here and enter the password here. I will press the next button. From here I will click on the continue button. Here it says. What's the main way you plan to use Shopify? Many options are provided for you to select as per your requirement. I will select. Building new Shopify for clients and now I will click on the next button. Where is your business located? Select I am clicking next button. What's the contact information for your business here? Fill up the form and click on the next button. Basically, it will be the name of the business and I will create the Shopify store for this business. This form should also be filled with correct information. Now I have read and agreed to the partner program agreement I will check in and click the submit button. Check all the options here. Now click on create store. Store name should be given here. Capital letter and small letter cannot be given. Space cannot be given in between. Give a name that is unique so that if someone has opened a store under that name before, you can't open it again with the same name. You can see that this name is unique. Country can be selected from here. Where would your client like to sell? I will select online. Is your client currently selling through another platform? Select no. Now click create development store. Now select the account. Click add product here. Here all products can be added manually. I will check in all the options on the right side. Here's an omission, we'll check that in as well. I will not upload the product manually as I will do it for practice. I will click on discard here. Now click on apps. Now I will search by writing Zoppy from the search option. I will click on the app that came in the search. Click on install button here. Here again click on install button. Now see a new option has come Zoppy drop shipping click here. Now showing monthly and yearly plans of the app. We will use the free plan for practice. So click here and choose this plan. Now here you have to click on next button several times to complete the process. I will click on get started and now I will save the language as English. Check each option here. Now click on import product. Some products will be imported from here.
so you have to click add to import list by placing the mouse on the desired product and add some of the desired products. Now click here product center. A list of products that have been imported can be found here. Now select the products and click push all products. But this cannot be done from the free plan, so you have to do it manually one by one. In that case, while the product is selected, click on push to store and the product will be uploaded to the store. The rest of the products should also be uploaded in this way. I managed to upload 6 products. Online store click on this option to view the uploaded products. Here you can see different themes. You can install any theme you like but check if it works properly. I am selecting. Now I will click online stores. Something went wrong that means the theme is not working. From here I will click view your store. Or but showing same. Now click on Publish button from Install Default Theme. I will click on the three dots and from here I will click on the Preview option. You can see that the theme is installed correctly. Select a product. Since we need to go to purchase for practice, we will purchase a product. Here you can see this store can't accept payments right now so it needs to be fixed so we can make purchases. To fix this go to settings from dashboard. Then click on payments. Now from here you have to click see all other providers. There are different payment method options here.
I will select for testing bogus gateway. I will click on the active button. Now if you refresh this page, You can see that the payment method has been added. We will purchase a product with a single payment details. I will give the card number, 1. I will write expiration date, security code and name on the card. Now click on pay now button. Contact details are not filled up here so the form is not submitted. I will fill up the contact details. Now click on Pay Now button. You can see that the product has been purchased and the thank you message is showing. Basically, by this way Shopify store needs to be prepared for free. Hope you will benefit from the video. If you like the video then give the video a like. Share the video with your friends. If you are a new visitor to the channel, Subscribe the channel and turn on the bell icon next to it. See you later with another new video till then stay well and stay healthy. Thank you very much.